Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Rochelle and in today's video, I'm gonna be working on my 1993 single wide mobile home. I'm gonna be working in the kitchen area on the coffee bar specifically. This is a place that I use every single day and I want to give it a more up-to-date and modern look. So that is why I decided to do this project. You guys, this was super fun, super easy, very budget friendly and I'm gonna prove it to you guys. I made this happen with less than $50. So if I can do it, you can do it. And if you want to see this turn into this, definitely stay tuned. All right, guys. So here is my coffee bar in its current state. As you can see, it is very brown, it is very dated, it is very 90s. So I'm definitely excited to give this an uplift and a more modern look. Guys, I am so in my element doing projects like this, so I am so excited today. So first, we're going to start by emptying out the cabinets. As you can see, this part of my kitchen has become a catch-all for everything that, that does not have a space to go. So first, let's go ahead and empty all these cabinets out, and then we will start on the next part. Our hearts beat to the city streets We begin to feel the fire We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals that take us higher The night's young and it's just begun As she puts her hand in mine So right here, I just have a towel with some warm soapy water and I'm just washing down the whole entire piece. You want to definitely make sure that if you're going to paint anything, you want to definitely wipe it down first to make sure that there's no dirt or debris left because you don't want any of those things coming through um, after you paint. So right here, I am just pulling off the contact paper that I put on about a year ago. I got this stuff from Shein and it actually did the job back then. Um, it was cute for the time being, but obviously I definitely wanna give this a complete makeover and update this space to something more modern. So I am taking this off to just reveal the original um, wood backdrop.
with this caulk that I picked up from the Dollar Tree just to go in and fill in all of those extra holes that were left behind from me taking out the previous handles. You can also use wood filler for this, but I used caulk because I had it on hand. So guys, we are about to start painting and I am so excited. I originally wanted to paint this in just the color white. So when I went to Walmart and I saw this Glidden paint in Ghost Whisperer, I was so excited and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to try it. It didn't look any different from the other white paint that they had, but I am absolutely happy with how it turned out. And then these paint brushes, I also picked these up from the Dollar Tree. They were very handy and they worked very well. So guys, here is the color. And as you can see, it is literally just white. Like. There's no undertones to it, not that I know of, and I love how it came out. So if you guys see this at Walmart, definitely pick it up and try it. It is literally like white, white. And I also want to mention that this paint was actually under $20, so it was pretty budget friendly, and I'm definitely excited that I went with this decision. Um, I also want to let you guys know that I had to paint this twice. So I did the first coat, and then I let it dry, and I went back in with another coat. Um, just because I wanted to make sure that every spot was covered in paint and that there wasn't any brown um, poking through. Whenever you have a darker color and you're painting over it with a lighter color, you want to do two coats anyways. And of course, I'm sure if I had went with more expensive paint, maybe that would not have been the case. But I did get paint from Walmart, so I had to paint it twice and it's no big deal. It actually turned out really good. shout out to my daughter for helping me paint she literally jumped right on this without me asking for her help she is also a talented artist so she absolutely loves to paint so this was right up her alley and she had such a good time and I'm so thankful for all of her help so guys as you see I am done with the bottom portion of the coffee bar and now I'm starting to paint the very top this part was actually um, more tedious than the bottom because there's so many cracks and crevices and little detail pieces that I had to get through. And like I said before, I had to paint this twice. So right here, this is just my first go around. And then once I get this all painted, I'm going to go back and paint it again.
So right here, I'm going to be painting these suction cup hooks that I got from Dollar Tree in the color black. And as you can see, they originally come white. And although there's nothing wrong with the white color, but I decided to paint them black because I felt like it would give them more of a heavy duty appearance, make them look a little bit more expensive than what they actually are. And it actually turned out really good. As you'll see later on in the video, um, they're going to look completely different. So I'm really excited that I went with this color. <laughs> So if you are still here with me and you have made it to this part of the video, thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have made it to the fun part. This part for me was the most exciting. Guys, I got these towels from the Dollar Tree and these are their peel and stick towels. Um, I have been eyeing these for the past couple of months and I've been wanting to do a project with them, but I just didn't know exactly what I was going to do. And so when I decided to update this coffee bar, I remembered these and I thought, Oh my goodness, I think this would be the perfect spot to actually try these out. Um, and what I'm actually doing, I'm using this coffee bar as a test point because I want to go ahead and redo my entire kitchen. And I think I want to do it like this. I want to paint the cabinets white and then use these towels as a backsplash. But guys, this was actually very quick, very easy. They stick very well. Um, it's been about two weeks since I've done this and they have not fallen off or done anything super crazy so um, they're very easy to assemble you just peel off the back stick them on there are some parts where you're gonna have to cut to fit to size um, but the only part that I needed to cut was around my outlet and you guys will see that in just a minute so definitely guys if you're wanting to update a small space in your home you can do it the easy way and the less expensive way as you can see i am about to literally transform this entire space to make it look like it actually costs a lot of money but it really didn't and i'm and that's what makes me like the most proud of this project is that it actually looks so drastically different than it did before but yet i didn't spend the money for the look if that makes any sense <music> Thank you. 
So I'll be using these Better Home and Gardens doorknobs. They have a very beautiful matte black finish that I really like to go with this coffee bar. Guys, I bought these a while ago to start on another project in my house, but because I hadn't done it, I'm just going to go ahead and use them for this project. And I love how they turned out. So guys, as you can see, I am just putting them on with my drill, but you can also use just a regular Phillips screwdriver and they'll do just fine. these are those hooks that we painted earlier they are completely dry so I'm about to go ahead and hang them up and this is what it looks like with the lights on the two that you see on right now are actually the motion sensor lights and they stay on for about 30 seconds after being activated I absolutely love this feature because they go off by themselves and guys here's the next morning and now we are gonna decorate So I just want to mention really quickly that all of these glass jars that I'm about to show you guys for organization actually came from Dollar Tree. So definitely if you're looking for some very usable and practical and very inexpensive things to use to help organize any space in your house, definitely go to your local Dollar Tree and check them out.
So these jars that you see me putting on top of the coffee bar right now, these also came from Dollar Tree, but I bought them a few years ago and they were clear and I just spray painted them different colors. And so I thought that they would look so cute on top of the coffee bar and I actually really like how it turned out. So guys, just a reminder of what we started with. This is the before and this is after. I am so excited. This absolutely turned out absolutely amazing. It was so fun. It was so easy. Most of the items that I got came from Dollar Tree. Guys, I hope that this video motivates you that you can do any project in your home it does not have to be expensive. You can literally go and get things straight from your dollar store and just transform any space. I am on a mission to change this 1993 single wide mobile home into my little cottage in the woods. And I'm starting by one project at a time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and definitely leave a comment below and let me know what you think about today's project. Thank you guys so much for watching this video today. If you enjoy content like this, please consider hitting that subscribe button and please hit that like button as well. That really helps out the video. If you guys enjoyed this, please leave a comment below and let me know what you think. I enjoyed doing this project today. It was fun, it was easy. Everything was from Dollar Tree pretty much. The backsplash turned out so good. I, I love it. The hooks, I painted them black, as I said in the video, and just all the decor pieces that I got literally from the Dollar Tree. So I hope that this encourages you guys that you do not need a lot of money to update a small space in your house. Like I said in my very first video, I own a 1993 single wide mobile home, so I have a lot of updates to do in this house. So this is just the beginning of many projects to come. So if you wanna see that journey, please, please consider subscribing to my channel. And thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.